Right. Now, you're hearing talk about Europe having one currency, one currency, but with many different heads and many different leaders. See, black people are so busy shaking their behind, they're not even interested in much of what we're talking about. Because our minds are in the dance, our minds are on the new car, just madness. Whilst the world is falling down among us, our mind is on a silly boyfriend, silly girlfriend, some mad relationship. Do you understand? Where the world is coming down. And we engaged in such madness that we ain't even got time to read a decent quality newspaper. Mm. But anyway. So bogged down with foolishness. Or if the girl is so much of a problem, get rid of her. If the man is so much of a problem, get rid of him. Because if you've been trying for years to sort out a problem and it can't be solved, guess what? I didn't come to break up your stuff. <laughs> but I just got to tell you, sometimes we're so mismatched, it's not even funny. Do you know that? When you choose a partner for your life and you ain't got no sense, what do you think is going to happen when you get some sense? You're going to wake up and see Satan in the bed with you. Come on. Why do you think the scripture says two will be laying in the bed and God will take one and leave the other? What does that mean? That you might have come together just based upon how each other look or how much money the person had or some stupid surface kind of attraction. But when intelligence comes now and knowledge of self, knowledge of the time and what must be done, you may find that this person laying up beside you is not the person for the time to help you to get through so you can see a brighter tomorrow. When knowledge comes, it's so serious that you even have to question the judgment of your own family. And if the judgment of your own family, where you'll always respect mama, always respect father, but when knowledge comes, it may mean that you can no longer follow their guidance. The Quran will say some of us will boast about guidance from our mothers and our fathers after truth comes. And then Allah says, but what about if your father or your mother don't have any sense? Do you follow someone with no sense? Only if you ain't got none yourself. But when sense comes, then you have to act in accordance with knowledge. But if you're weak and spineless, then you can't act. And some of us are so weak that we can't make an independent decision. It has to be buttressed or supported by mama, by dada by girlfriend, right. by boyfriend, yes, by husband, yes, by wife. But supposing they're idiots. Exactly. Come on. And intelligence comes to you. Yeah. Then are you strong enough to further intelligence or does ignorance now overwhelm you and turn you back into what God is trying to evolve you out of? Now you look at this. Everybody needs to meet God in order to be successful today. Now, if you don't have a meeting with a powerful being, you'll never make it. Mm. Too many weak, spineless disbelievers around you. Mm. That's right. And if there's a lot of weak, spineless disbelievers, how are you going to make it today? Come on. Someone has to extend to you a firm hand. And you have to be able to grip that firm hand and not let it go. Because if you let go of the handle of Allah, God Almighty, you won't make it today. Like, do you honestly think that the masses of the people are going to make it through what's coming with the way I wear thinking? Religious people are at the forefront of the fire because they're the worst. People call themselves Christians, don't know nothing about Christ. Want to sing and dance and speak about a man who they've never met before. 
And when he's walking among them, they can't even recognize him. Muslims want to talk about Muhammad yes, and have become ritualistic. Mm. And as Muhammad is walking among them, they can't, repre- they can't recognize Muhammad. Mm. And they want to teach and guide you, mm. me? Of course they can. If you and I don't recognize the hand of God when he exposed himself to us, and none of us will go through these final days without saying that I met a power in my life that reminds me of the power that I've been looking for all the days of my life. But the question is, are you willing to make the sacrifice to give up that which is holding us down, which is preventing us from breaking the shackles and going forward with God? Some of us love money too much. Some of us don't even admire our partners. We worship them. Worship them. It's like the man has never had a woman before. He meet her. She got a couple of looks and whatnot. He starts worshiping the girl. Yes, sir. Poor girl. When a man starts worshiping you, you're in trouble. Because now you're sleeping with a child. Mm. Are you hearing me? A little boy fixated with your body and beauty. Mm. And God burns beautiful women. Come on. Are you hearing me? You were disbelievers. Mm. Poor brother. Huh? Poor sister. Don't know God. End up worshipping some silly brother. Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on. Poor girl. But anyway, I don't know why we jumped on today. <laughs> but we obviously needed to go there <laughs> for some reason. But it's just silly. Because you don't want to, you want when there's time of crisis, for your woman to be able to help you to think through the crisis. Not just look into what we're going to do, baby. The man looking to the woman, what are we going to do? He's supposed to have knowledge from God. She's supposed to be a woman of God. So man and woman from God are supposed to have solutions to contemporary problems. But when we're overcome and take time away from God and his work to build our thing. You watch in a few days. You think you can plan your own escape? Watch. When you get to the end of your tunnel, you might be going to the airport planning your escape. When God's after you and me because we're so small-minded, you watch. Keep living. If Allah blesses you and I, keep living. You see, small-mindedness and selfishness don't have no place in God's kingdom today. Small-mindedness, individualism, being cheap, don't have no place in God's kingdom today. He is striving to build a nation. That's the whole purpose of his coming, was to build a nation. And sometimes if you think you believe, if you're more comfortable in the presence of people who don't believe, you need to look in the mirror. Did you hear what I said? If you're more comfortable in the presence of those who don't believe like you, those who are not striving like you, then you have to check whether you really do believe. You may be striving to be a good person, Morally upright, but you ain't a nation builder. There's a difference. So you can follow restrictive law and be weak in nation building. There's a difference. A restrictive law can make you a better human being. But God is not just looking for better human beings. He's looking for builders of a new world. Are you following me?